Let's continue. Uh, did you watch anything about this game at all, Leia? Do you know... Uh, have you watched it on YouTube or, or on the VODs? <coughs> Basically, for anyone who might not know what this game is, uh, this is a game where we are programmers. We here are programmers. And our kitty, which is sleeping right now here, um... They, or, or, or he or she, uh, fixed our bugs. So, we now know that... Um... Oh, oops. The music is a bit loud. Hmm. I don't know how to change that. Maybe like this? Yeah, I, th I think like this is good. Uh, so, yeah. We found out that our kitty knows how to program. And we want to understand them. So we are making some kind of um, cat speech recognition system. And we started by learning how to um, do expert systems, how to do databases, decision trees. And in the end, basically, we need to... Um, we need to... Learn how to be better at uh, machine learning and just programming in general, so that we can understand our kitty. Uh, the first thing is recognizing basic cat emotions. We are a little bit more advanced in that. And when we reach 100%, then, it then the cat speech recognition system will be almost done. I asked if you watched any of this game uh, in YouTube or what or whatever. Uh, in order to explain it or not, but I don't know really how to explain. You will see the puzzles yourself, I, I guess. Week 9, day 6 out of 7. <coughs> Hmm. So, yeah. Basically, it all works by our mail. Every single job we have to do, every single programming job, is um, comes by mail, and someone asks us to do something. And that's how we get better. Uh, that's how you get better at uh, programming. <clears throat> it doesn't really have a story uh, of, as such, so... Uh, it's up to you. If you really like it, sure, but you don't need to understand. Uh, you, you can understand what's happening just by what I said. Basically, we are just trying to um, create an algorithm or an AI that understands that speech. That's all. So, we are inviting you to join our hacker startup. We write cheats and guides for different games. Now we would like to try making something real cool. We need a program that will play and win in Arkanoi, instead of the player. We know that you know a lot of machine learning, so we're inviting you to participate in our startup. <coughs> My voice is kinda... <coughs> uh, running out. <coughs> so, this is, this is how this game works. And you basically need to um, join this input to these outputs. And uh, this data here, you can see uh, three different types of data. Red, green and blue. All of them are squares. You need to divide them where it needs to go. So, for example, we need to get all the 10 red things here and all the blue things here. So. We have a decision tree. Here you can see the time that each... Uh, these are like... <coughs> uh, devices, like hardware. Or some kind of, like... Gadget, whatever. So this one takes uh, 0 0.3 seconds to work, but this one takes 0 0.99 seconds to work. So... If we need... Um, one of these, then we can use it... Uh, then... Okay, how, how to say it? We need to pick which one of these is better. If we need uh, more than three, it's better to use only one of them. But if we can do the same thing with less decision trees than three, then this one is better. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, um, we need a decision tree here. 
a decision tree here and a decision tree here. This will pick between red and blue. Because green isn't here, I, ca I can put it, but uh, there's only two options. Green will go randomly to one or the other. So I need to put another decision tree here, which puts green there and red here. Remember that only the red ones will go here, not the blue ones. The blue ones will go there. So I will do it like this. The blue will go here and the green ones will go... Actually, I will do it the other way around. Because I am... Because I am a OCD person. <laughs> I will do it like this. So, the green ones from both will go to the trash can. And the red ones will go here. So, in theory, whenever we start it, all of them should go to this decision tree. This decision tree should divide the red ones there, the blue ones there, and the green ones randomly. And these two decision trees will uh, send the green ones to the trash can, while the red, red and blue ones go where they need to go. So, and if we uh, do a test run, as you can see, all the green ones go there, all the blue ones go here, and all the red ones go there. So, it works perfectly. Let's uh, release it. And here you need 100% accuracy. Sometimes, when there is um, machine learning, you need uh, less accuracy because machine learning isn't always 100% accurate. So... Um, yeah. Uh, but if, if you need 100% accuracy, then you need no mistakes at all. But fortunately, these decision trees don't make any mistakes. So I will just, re just release it. Um, next day. This green hype thing means that um, there is more and more people hearing about our uh, startup. So more people will come. So 100 users. Okay, we got a pay payout. Parallelizing your calculations. Ah, okay. So uh, we have too many clients. That means we need to patch it. How do we patch it so that uh, we can handle more clients? We need to divide it with balancers. A balancer is a device that divides the data, this is data, equally in uh, two sides. So if you have like 50 data, it will uh, divide exactly like 25 and 25. Doesn't matter the color or anything. So. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. How do we do this? We need another decision tree. Another decision tree here and another decision tree here. And actually, let's let's do four of these. So. And a balancer here. Actually, let's let's uh, move out a bit so that we can see easier. Let's put two balancers there. So each balancer will uh, will get already the divider, like the divided data. <clears throat> so I think four uh, decision trees should be way too good enough to, to handle it. <clears throat> so uh, this is... Uh, okay, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, and green, blue. Okay, wait, no, actually, red, wait, what? Red, green. Okay, so red, green, red, green, green, blue, green, blue. And here is red and blue all the time. So, red one will go here, red one will go here, uh, red one will go there, and red one will go there. Do you understand any of this? Does this make sense at all to you, Leia? I don't think it does, but 
let me know if you understand or not. I would really like to try to explain so that you get what I'm doing. And the blue ones will go down here. Basically, we, we have our data. Uh, which part confuses you? It's much easier if you if you explain which part exactly confuses you. I will try to explain. Let me grab a snack in the meantime. As you saw, it works perfectly. Try to explain to me what exactly confuses you. you we have uh, these different devices like Expert System, Trash Can, Decision Tree, and Balancer. Each one does, does something differently. Trash Can just uh, is, well, normal Trash Can. Balancer divides all this data here into equal parts. So if one Balancer gets all the data, it divides it like 30. 30 here, right? So there are 15 and 15. Each one of these second balancers gets 15 data. This one gets 30. Don't you dare. Next time you make this joke, you're banned. Save space. Where, and uh, well, actually, no. Self love, self care, stuff like that. Right? So, come on. Uh, so yeah, each balancer gets like uh, half the data already and it splits it even further. So each one of these decision trees gets a quarter of the data. Because they said that it was too much data and the system couldn't handle the, um, the calculations, this way it will be divided into four equal parts and it shouldn't um <clears throat> it should be able to handle it do you understand what the what the decision tree does like the balancer is easy it just literally splits the data which which are these things i will i will show you slower how 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 does it work as you can see all the data comes from here to the balancer it then come it then go uh, goes divider English. Words are hard. It gets divided and sent to the second balancers. And the balancers divide it further. So as you can see... <coughs> every single bit of data like gets divided. And once they reach the decision trees, the red ones are always... The red ones are always um, sent. To these two, to these two here. Oh, oops! I forgot to connect these these two. Um, all the red ones, as you can see, like this, this, and this, and this. This red means that it will it will go. Okay, let let, let me zoom in. This here means that uh, everything will arrive to here to this input, and it will get divided if it's red or if it's blue. If it's red, it will go here to this, to this output. If it's blue, it will go here to this output. If it's green, because as you saw, we have green ones too, it will go randomly. Just maybe here, maybe there, maybe... Like, doesn't matter, randomly. And uh, all, of, all of these... All of these four ones... All of these four ones um, do the same thing technically get the same amount of data how do they know how to divide it just one of them goes one way and one of them the other it's literally one one and one it's not random it's like one there one there so half and half um it doesn't matter like literally it doesn't look at what color it is it just divides them by numbers one there one there and these two do the same 
So um, each one of these decision trees gets a quarter of the data. And all of them do the same. And then these two divide between red and green. Because the green goes randomly, some green will go with the blue and some green will go with the, with the red. So these two decision trees will get all the red and half the green ones. Uh, and it will uh, throw the green ones in the trash can because we don't need them. And the red ones will be sent to the output where we want it to go. The red one goes here and the green ones goes there. Uh, if there was blue, it would go randomly between these two. But we already divided the blue before and all the blue ones are here. And here there are no red ones. So that's why uh, this works. All the blue ones get here, all the red ones get here, and green ones are everywhere here, but they all get sent to the trash can. As you can see, these four connections are the green ones, these two are the red ones, and these two are the blue ones. So like this, it should work now. <coughs> As you can see, it's, it goes very slowly, it just divides them randomly, like that these get divided even more and then they these decision trees divided by color so all the blue ones are sent down here as you can see all the red ones are sent up here as you can see and green ones go randomly some of them go up some of them go down but then they all get sent to this trash can and all the blue ones and red ones go to their respective outputs does this make more sense now and here is how it works with like Quick, uh, fast speed. Okay, I think now I should launch this. Let's see how the the days progress, and let's see if uh, we have. Uh, le um, we need this red number to be zero because this red number means that the people that couldn't access to our servers or just didn't get um, our. Um, didn't get to pay because our servers didn't handle it. This is already more than we invested into this startup, so we, we gained money. We invested 1500 and we already got 1700 and we are still gaining. So, as you can see, the hype went yellow. <coughs> it means that few people are hearing about our startup. Because most people already know about it. We are still gaining money. We are still gaining money. And now you can see the the user's number decreasing. And when it decreases enough, then we can maybe um, then we can maybe patch it like this. We can maybe have less here. Okay, still works. This way we will pay less for the servers because we have less um, uh, devices there. See? We, we gained a little bit more. Okay, we lost a lot of money this time. And if we don't balance it at all, then we only need uh, one of each. It works still. Okay, well, there was zero users, so of course we still lost money. And we can sell it now with this button. We can sell the company to someone who has no idea that our company isn't gaining anymore. I don't know. I don't know why would anyone buy it, but in this game it works like this. When 
when literally no one comes to your shop, then you sell it. I don't know who would want to buy it, but okay. And we gained a lot of money. This is, by the way, not realistic at all, because it's not so easy to gain money in programming. But well, we can dream, right? So this was a uh, startup. Um, side quest. The vertical ones in this stream are the main story. <clears throat> Actually, here were two main story ones in the same uh, level. So these ones are the main story and all the side ones are side quests. So this side quest was a uh, startup. There are other side quests that are like tasks with the real... Uh, I don't know what RL is. Maybe something like something learning. So like machine learning, but I don't know. This is like a cut overflow task. Cut, cut overflow is a parody of Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a website where you can ask questions about anything programming related. So in this game, uh, we, we get tasks from random users that they won't help. This is a normal task and these are story comics. So all of these side quests exist. And we will now continue with our next uh, main quest. Prediction of presidential elections. Good morning. We are contacting you on behalf of Yahoo's corporation. The I love that it's Yahoo, but instead of two O's, it's two U's. The president of our partner venture has been dismissed last month, and the board of directors is in the process of electing a new one. <coughs> we need to be able to predict who will win the election, so we could make a decision about the future of our partnership with said venture. Make it happen and you will get a handsome reward. Okay, Leia, go eat. Um, <clears throat> so, why not? Where, where are you going then? Then if, if not eating, like you should, you should, you should eat your pancakes or whatever you want to eat. Anything. Uh, so yeah, basically. <laughs> It's funny that instead of just waiting who will be the new president, they just predict the election and, and, and that's how then they decide their relationship to the to the company. Okay, as, lo as, as long as you make it relatively soon, it's okay. Uh, so, we have all the red ones here. We need red ones in both sides. And all the red ones are here together with others. So we will first of all divide it because we need half of the data here and half of the data here. And then leave. Um, hmm. Leave the. Leave all the, the ones that are not red here. So this, this. And this, this. So here I will say green, and here I will say blue, and here is blue, and here is green. Sorry, no. Uh, what the hell? Uh, green. So all the blue ones will get rejected here, and all the green ones will well, half of the green ones will reject it here. Half of the green ones will go to the trash can directly from here. So, and all the red ones will go here, and all the half of the red ones will go here, and half of the red ones will go there. As you can see, it gets divided here. Well, amazing! I did, I forgot to connect it. <laughs> um. Okay. So this this is getting blocked, of course, but it's okay. Social panel. What? I'm not playing Radikyo, I'm playing Wild True Learn. What the hell? Okay. Was this was this a epic achievement? I thought it was an achievement from the game. What the hell? That was very weird. So to one we sent 12 and to the other we sent 8. That's very interesting actually. Hmm. And we release it 
uh, that's how we like tell it to someone. So we have now an automatic movie rater and a tracking system. Heritage protection. Let, let, let's do the heritage protection. National Heritage Protection System. Good morning. We have dozens of scientific equipment placed in protected areas for the sake of looking after the objects of national heritage. We are parsing info from our equipment, equipment on a daily basis and the need, a need to sort it depending on the color of the report. Can you make a program that will help us? Basically sort by color or all the time the same thing. So, green will go here, red will go here, and blue will go here. So, red goes here, blue goes here, green, green, red, and red. Sorry, and, and blue. Yeah, 8, 8, and 8. Nice. Okay, that was way too easy. I didn't even need balancers. I don't know why we are doing this, since we don't need balancers at all. Let's do automatic movie rater. Hello, this message is from the Osgar committee. We want to replace some of our experts with a neural network. Please design a system that would rate movies by their type. Wow. So red and green and blue. It's as easy as this. Basically, you have green and then blue. However, you could do like this, this, and this to make it much quicker. This way you could have like here, 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 and here. And all of them would be like green and blue. So basically you divide the data into two equal parts, into four equal parts actually. And each one goes there. Each one goes to a different decision tree, so that it's much quicker. Uh, because you know what? If I did this... Green goes here and blue goes there. If I did this... If this was connected directly to only one of them, look at how it would be. It would be like too slow. Like it's filling up slowly. Exactly. Uh, however, I noticed one other thing. It means that here we need the red ones as well. 